Yo, 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 welcome to Angry Fan Sports. Subscribe if you like the content on the channel. Angel Reese. Yes, I'm talking to you, Angel Reese. Now, first and foremost, I gotta say, salute to you, Queen. You're doing your thing. You're making history. Double doubles. Rebounding machine. You are a dog down there in that block. It's not no game. It's not no. You can miss three, four times. You still be getting the rebounds. That's actually amazing in all reality. You know how to jump and go after that ball. You know what you're doing down there. You still get your 10 points, 11 points. Might get 14 here and there. Might get 18 here and there. So you're doing your thing. I'm not taking anything from you. But I do have to be honest. You need to work on your game. All jokes aside, you have to work on your game. You are missing way too many shots. Do you see your percentages in the paint? It's literally disgusting. You have to work on your layups. I've seen you miss so many wide open layups. It doesn't make sense. I've seen you try to lay it up and you hit the bottom of the backboard. I've seen you shoot a brick from three point and didn't even touch the rim. I've seen you shoot a jump shot and hit the side of the backboard. You got to work on your game. You got to work on your game. Either that or let them run the offense through Camilla. Because in my opinion, she's better than you. She can get the same amount of boards as you. As she had, if she had the same playing time, she scores more than you in less minutes. See, it's kind of weird to me. I don't want to take it away from you, but the way I'm looking at it, Chicago drafted Camilla Cordoza before you. So if it came down to you or Camilla, they would have chosen her. So it's weird watching them run, try to run the offense through you all of a sudden. Teaspoon, I don't know what's going on with you, but you might want to wake up. Camilla is clearly the better player at this point in time. Y'all just ain't letting her rock. And I feel like a lot of this had to do with the double-doubles. Y'all made it about Angel Reese trying to get the rookie of the year versus Chicago Sky trying to actually win games. This is why Marbury wanted to be traded. Come on, you just seen what happened with uh, Kennedy Carter. Shout to her. She has COVID from my understanding. Y'all in the locker room fighting and screaming and arguing during press conferences. Y'all look like y'all are a mess over there in Chicago in all reality. Y'all look like y'all are a mess. And Angel Reese, if you want to be this well-known basketball player as you are, you need to get your fans more in tune. You need to hype your game up so the fans can have more good things to say about you. I'm watching you. You're getting pushed right now. They're holding your hand right now in all reality, yo. Do you know how many times you have been player of the game in a game that you lost by like 20, by like 15 I done seen people drop 30 points in the game against you and they weren't playing the game for some weird reason you was because you had 14 rebounds and 11 points. And that's another thing. It literally takes you the whole entire game to get 10 points, 11 points at times. You need to figure this out. You need to figure this out. I feel like you're a reason why Camilla doesn't get as many minutes as she should be getting. I do. I, they want you to get your boards. They got you shooting technical uh, free throws when you're not even the best shooter who's on the floor at that point in time. In garbage time, you act like it's, it's overtime or something. Or it's a championship game when it's garbage time. They're, they're celebrating you getting a double-double when I literally watch you have to scramble for five points against Indiana. And, and, and they had the second and third string team in. You was the only person playing like that. Work on your game. Salute to your podcast. Why you're worrying about a podcast right now when you're on a playoff run, I don't know. I don't know. You could have at least waited to the offseason to introduce your podcast. And I'm telling you, it's going to wind up biting you in your behind because you're outspoken and you're going to throw shade at you know who, your arch enemy, who doesn't really care about you like that, Caitlin Clark, and they're going to kill you for it. They, I, I already see it happening. You see how they're doing show swoops. You see how they're doing show swoops. I'm just saying. Work on your game. It was disappointing to see in the Olympics what you're worried about going to Paris. You weren't about going here, taking pictures. You should have been in the gym. And that one month, I've watched Clark get a floater. I've watched her work on her handle. She's like, like, she's driving to the rim now. She did all that in a month. And that same month, you didn't do anything. You came back, and now y'all are on a seven-game losing streak. And to be honest with you, I personally don't think y'all going to make the playoffs. I think it's going to be the Atlanta dream. I really do, because y'all are already tied up. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, their schedule is easier than your schedules for these next, what, seven games coming up? That's all y'all got left. 
That's you are barely hanging in there. You are barely hanging in there. You don't want to be in this position next year. Rookie of the year race. I'm, salute to you. I seen you in your press conference say you wasn't worried about rookie of the year. Total BS. Total BS. The right thing to say when you know you're on a seven game losing streak. I, I won't be. I won't say yeah. I want rookie of the year either. Now they're talking about cold rookie of the year. Disgusting. Literally holding your hands. Literally holding your hands. I seen you say you love vets are showing you about a lot of love. Legends are showing you a lot of love. There has to be a reason for them to show you this kind of love. You got to elevate. You have to elevate. You're not. You're not. And it's getting hard to see. Watching that Indiana Fever game, I, I almost felt sorry for you. You're crying. You want fouls called because you, you'll you miss a layup and then rage. Call the foul. Like, what do you mean call the foul? A lot of times you duck your shoulder down and you just charge towards the rim. A lot of times you do that. You're lucky they're not really calling offensive foul on you. Work on your fundamentals. And I don't blame you 100%. I actually blame your former coaches. I do. I blame them. Because there's no way you should be in a WNBA and you cannot hit a basic layup. There's no way. I've literally seen you by yourself have court double, dribble, and carry all in the same sequence just to hit a layup. They could have called two different things on you. Work on your fundamentals. Don't be content with making the WNBA. You want to be a star in the WNBA. Or do you want to be basic? I mean, you already here now. If you don't care about winning, then just say that. Man, I just care about my individual stats, whatever. That way, other people who want to win can ask to get traded to get, to get away from you. Like Marbury did. And now she's on the Connecticut Sun. The number two team in the entire WNBA. Smart. Smart. Who want to play for a losing team? Teaspoon, you better get it together. The way you holding Adrian Reese's hand with these double-doubles, you better make sure she's in that gym. I'm talking about every day. She need to be in that gym every day. Because this don't make no sense. If I'm playing defense on her, I wouldn't even guard her. I wouldn't even guard her. For what? She going to miss the first layup anyway. She has not developed. Uh, she has not developed the game yet, man. She's great on defense. I, I I love the the energy she brings. I love when she blocks. Well, I haven't really seen her get that many blocks, but I do love when she gets the rebounds. She'll she'll make a face, mean mug the person she took the ball from. She might hit you with the too small. She might do things like that. I do like that part about her. Not even gonna lie, I really do. But she got work on her game. Less talking. More working. I personally feel like Rakia Jackson is having a better year than you. I personally feel like that. Work on your game.